A flying jump kick seven feet in the air. A secret arena and a deadly competition. An American ninja in Hong Kong in pursuit of a dream and pursued by his own government. It's the stuff martial arts films are made of. Comic book heroes with supernatural abilities. But the most unbelievable part of blood sport is that it really happened. Meet Frank Dukes, the first American to win the Kumite, a deadly martial arts competition where the only rule is to win. A lot of people liken it to a human cockfight. You've got to understand that Asia is lined with, with one secret society after another. And that's probably why the event has been kept secret for so long. And just how did an American enter the secret world of the ninja? At 12 and a half, Frank had no confidence in himself, and he wanted to be the best at something. Then he met Tanaka, an ex-Kumite champ. In a relationship that transcended both culture and the centuries, Tanaka passed down the ancient secrets of the ninja. Techniques that date back 2,000 years to the time when Genghis Khan ruled the Orient and the notorious ninja warriors roamed Japan, earning the reputation as the world's first secret agents. Look, Frank, the government has invested a lot of time and money in you. Uncle Sam can't afford to let you get hurt. I won't get hurt. Enter modern-day secret agent Frank Dukes. His activities are so confidential that the film only touches upon the topic. I'm not in a position to deny or confirm anything at this point in my life. All I can tell you is I'm not the type of guy who kisses and tells, and I took an oath, and I plan on obeying that oath. Whatever his secret activities were, his ninja training played a key role. Jeffrey Stromp worked with Frank on many secret missions. He's a miraculous man, and out of uh, 300 agents that were in special operations, assigned to Southeast Asia. He was the only one to come back alive. To ensure that Bloodsport captured Frank's larger-than-life heroics, Frank himself was hired as fight coordinator. What separates, I think, Bloodsport from any other film is the realism involved. There's actual contact being made by the fighters in the, that are on the film. Jean-Claude Van Damme stars as Frank in the movie. Some people were hurt on the set because everybody put the best they have, and we did a lots of slow motion. And when you when you're doing slow mo, you have to you have to go for it. You have to touch to uh, to see the body shaking and everything. So we use real fighter, and that was almost like a uh, competition because everybody they want to show the best. I mean the best of them. So uh, it was like a, uh, a small kumite. You got it. In all, over 50 fight scenes were shot, which meant weeks of rehearsals to ensure that the action would translate to the screen. The work was hard, but it was worth it. Watch how close it looks to the real thing. After his Kumite victory, Frank went on to win 329 straight matches and retired undefeated. He now lives in California and owns two karate schools where he passes down ancient ninja secrets to his students. Blood Sport, the true story of a kumite and the people who fought in it. I guess what I'm really proud of is, is that it isn't a story about violence. It's not, you know, it's a, a story about human beings and faith and about determination and respect. And that's what I, I've run my life by, and that's what um, this movie's about. Blood, Blood Sport, Sport. premiering March 4th, exclusively, exclusively on Showtime. On Showtime.